Hello, I'm Electro Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to achieve real-time corruptions on your 3DS using Shutterbug 2000's NTR Corruption plugin. In order to achieve this, you'll need three main things. The first thing you'll need is a 3DS that is soft modded with ARM9 loader hacks using Palatex Guide. The second thing you'll need is Boot NTR Selector by Nanquatus. The third thing you'll need is Shutterbug 2000's NTR 3DS Corruption plugin. Link to all of these three things will be found in the description down below. When following Palatex ARM9 Loader Hacks Guide, be sure to follow every step to a key. Failure to do so could result in an unrecoverable brick. Before corrupting your games, please be sure to make a backup of your saves, as corrupting the game may cause it to save corrupted save data. This will result in the loss of your save, so if you value your saves, please back them up. Once you have followed Palatex Guide and have installed ARM9 Loader Hacks, the next two things you'll need to do is get Boot NTR Selector and the Cheat.zip from Shutterbug. The first step will be to extract the Boot NTR Selector CIA into a CIA folder on your 3DS. Once it is copied over, you now switch to your 3DS. You'll need to go ahead and open FBI, which is a program that was installed during the ARM9 loader hacks process, so you should have it. Browse to your SD, find the folder which you install, which you copy the boot NTR selector onto, and install it. Now that you've installed Boot NTR Selector, the next step is to let it run at least once so it can update and get all of its folders configured. To do this, just hit the Home Menu button, wait a few seconds for it to tell you you have a new program, unpack it, open it, and let it update, which should just take a few seconds. Once you have Boot NTR Selector all set up and you have ran it at least once, you'll now need to browse to the plugin folder. And you'll need to create a folder that has the title ID of the game you'd like to corrupt. If you do not know the title ID of the game you'd like to corrupt, then to view it, you need to open FBI, browse to Titles and find the game you'd like to corrupt. For this example, we will look at Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. And as you can see below the picture of it, it says title ID. You'll need to make the folder be that exact number or letter string. For this one, it is 0004000000A and then etc. However, if the game has an update, not all of them will have the version 1.5 as Pokemon X does. To tell if it's an update, it will be 0004000E. So if, if the program has an E in it, it's the update and you do not want to use that. You want to use the one without the E. Once you know what the title ID is of the game you'd like to corrupt, go ahead and create a folder for it. Go into that folder. Open up the cheat zip and copy cheat.plg into that zip folder and your 3ds game will be ready to corrupt. Once you have created your folder and are ready to start corrupting your 3ds game, go ahead and open the boot NTR selector. It will go ahead and proceed to load automatically the newest version and take you back to the home menu. Once the home menu is loaded, browse to the game you would like to play. Launch it. And once your game is loaded, you can either, you can either do this on the home menu or within the game itself. Just hit any key on the D-pad, start your game,
and it will start corrupting automatically. Thank you for watching my video on how to corrupt games for the 3DS. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to see any more showcases of corrupted games, I'm also including a playlist in the description.